So welcome to Black Hat Hacking Series. So in this video, we'll work on how to prepare our own labs for the practicals. So in this video, we'll be learning about the virtualization. Virtualization is a technique through which we can install multiple operating systems in one computer. For example, I am running Windows 7 on my main computer. And in that, if I have to do the practicals, like if I want to hack from one computer to another computer, I will be needing multiple laptops for that, right? So maybe I'll be requiring two or three laptops to learn hacking, to do the performing the practicals. But what we can do is we can have a good configuration laptop and in between which we can install a software named as VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation acts like a virtual computer. It's just a software but acts like a real computer. In between the VMware, we can run multiple operating systems at one time. Or maybe, for example, if you have Windows 10 in your main computer, you can use VMware and in between VMware, you can put Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP, Kali Linux, anything you will be able to install in between the VMware and they all would be running simultaneously at one time. So the use of that, the VMware is that you will be actually utilizing your resources rather than buying or investing in different multiple laptops. You are just utilizing one laptop into its full performance. So you're using one power of one computer to run multiple operating systems or multiple computers for you so that you can do the practicals in them. There is also one more benefit of running virtual computers is or VMware is that whatever practicals you would do in between them, like we will be doing harmful practicals in between them of viruses, trojans, worms. So they will not affect your main computer. So your main computer will remain clean and you can do all your practicals in between the VMware and you can learn as well and you do not need to buy separate laptops as well. So what you just have to do is you just need to go to your downloads link, which is provided by us, where you will see the VMware workstation. You need to just, it's all approximately to 500 megabyte. You just need to double click next, next, next and install. That's it. And once you install, it will open like this way. VMware workstation. You have to go to help, enter registration key and you can, here you will get a key as well. You can copy its VMware workstation key and you can paste here. That's it. Then it will become a full version. Now we have to go to create new virtual machine custom VMware Fortin next. Here we will choose. I will install operating system later. Next. Which one you want to install? Microsoft Windows. What? Windows 10, 8, 7 anything we can install in the VMware. So we will choose Windows 7 64 bit and we can remain its name like this way or we can call it Windows 7 attacker. Same way we will also make one more Windows 7 victim. I go next, remain it on default BIOS. Here you can give uh, cores depending upon your laptop. Like if you have a i7 laptop, it must be having four cores. If you have i3 or i5, it it would just be having two cores. So I will, I will for myself, I have i7, so I'll give four cores. Next. I think 2 GB RAM is enough for Windows 7. So minimum, you must be requiring 8 GB RAM in your computer. I have 16 GB RAM in this computer, which I have. So I can give 2, 2 GB to multiple computers and I can run maybe, you know, 4 or 5 computers simultaneously. So as much RAM you have, as much more machines you'll be able to run simultaneously. Next, NAT by default, so that when the virtual computer would also be share your internet. Recommended, next, next, next. What is the maximum amount of hard drive you want to assign for your virtual computer? 60 GB, enough, single file, next and finish. So now, from where you want to install it, you will also get Windows 7 ISO image in the downloads which we have provided to you. So this is the image or a DVD or a CD through which we will be installing Windows 7. 
So we just have to click on the CD DVD from where you want to install. I go to use ISO image and uh, here I will give the path. In the VMware I have Windows 7 image and I'll do OK and we will power on. So if you see Windows 7 started installing in between the VMware. Like this way, we have to create one more. Same way, we have to install one more Windows 7 as well. So one would be your attacker and one would be your victim. From the attacker, we will initiate the attacks and to the victim, we will hack. So one is your main computer. Second is this one and third one more we will create. So you will be having a lab of three computers, but we will not use our main computer in the practicals. As I said, the practicals which we will perform inside the VMware, they will not affect your main computer so that your main computer would remain clean. So we just do next install now. I accept next custom and the next. Now it will automatically install Windows 7. It will take maybe 10-15 minutes and uh, it would finish with the same way. So I have a very powerful computer so I can install the second one as well simultaneously. Same way. Custom. Next. 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 Uh, Windows 7. Maybe victim. Next. Next. Okay. I give four cores. 2 GB RAM enough. I have 16 so it I can give two more 60 GB same to this one as well and finish to the victim as well. I'll give uh, same image from where I want to install. OK and power on. So this one as well started installing. So this one is already installing 51% and second one is as well installing. So as much powerful your computer is, as much more operating systems you'll be able to run. We can also install Windows 10, Windows 8, anything which you want to install, you can just install them in the VMware. It doesn't matter what is your main operating systems and you can run as much you want. Keep in mind that all the hacking based softwares which we will be using in between our course, they are sometimes already infected. So I have seen most of my students still today uh, who are, you know, in the domain of hacking and stealing and in the black hat stuff, they never use VMware. I have seen like they always keep on using all these practicals in your main computer. So, so they do not even know that their main computer has already been hacked by someone else. They are hacking you know, someone else and their computer is already hacked by someone else as well. I always say them that please use or make a habit of using a VMware in case of using your main computer for the practicals. Always do anything related to hacking from the virtual machines. Sorry, the first one is already installed even. Okay, completing installation and the second one is also installing. First one is ready. Here we can give it a name, attacker. Next. Password we can give like 123. Skip. Ask, always choose Ask Me Later. Else your Windows will keep on, you know, updating from the internet and keep on taking your internet bandwidth. Here you can choose any time zone depending your country. Next. You can use Home Network. So there are two things basically which you always have to do first is to install VMware tools. One of them is install VMware tools. It automatically mounts in your C drive. 
you have to you know automatically comes here you have to double click and it installs what's the use of vmware tools is like there will be a lot of files a lot of tools which will be there in your main computer which you want to copy inside the vmware you cannot do copy paste from your main computer to the vmware is unless you install vmware tools so they are very important so that the compatibility would be there in your main computer and the virtual machine so same thing we will also do with the victim computer as well all the steps it would also be just next 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 and it will take a restart and that's it after it takes a restart the vmware tools gets installed the second thing is what we will do we'll grab a snapshot it's a very nice feature of the vmware is that you could save the state of your windows 7 when it's fresh we can save its state so that once you do the practicals of viruses trojans and you need, you keep your you make your uh, uh, machine corrupted the vmware machine corrupted you can you know just revert back to the snapshot and it will again become fresh like a factory reset you just need to click take snapshot and then later on you can revert to snapshot if you have took any snapshot you can revert to that stage when your windows 7 was fresh so we do not need to install these again 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 once you make them corrupted so let's first install the vmware tools and then later on you have to take a snapshot and same steps with the victim computer as well So the first VMware tools are finished. Restart, yes. It will take a restart. And our lab is ready, almost. Here as well, we do the same steps on the victim. So I'll not repeat them back as you have seen all the steps. So two things as I said which you have to do is the one is installing the VMware tools second is you can take the snapshot so that you can save your state so that in the future you can revert it back and the third thing is you have to link your black hat tools which are provided by us so you have to if you can see I have also copied my black hat tools as well here which is provided by us so how you can link it you can right click over it go to settings go to CD DVD and here you can choose black hat toolkit and OK and you can go to my computer and here you will get all your tools you can first install WinRAR as well in your computer so that you can ex extract all these tools as well so all these tools we will be learning throughout our course which you can access like this way by linking a ISO directly in the CD DVD option. Rest, you have also the empower that you can uh, right click, go to screen resolution. You can also uh, increase or decrease the screen resolution depending upon you as you feel okay. So same steps will perform with the victim computer as well and your labs are ready. Now if you see, I can drag and drop the files or copy and paste the files from my main computer to VMware as well because of we installed the VMware tools so same steps with attacker same with the victim and your lab is finally ready we just require two windows 7 for this course rest there are also more high level courses which will be going after this black hat series there we will also be requiring Kali Linux which we can also install same way by just going through a new virtual machine next 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 and here I can choose Linux and then the Kali Linux so you can run as much machines depending upon your computer power so I hope you like the video and thank you for watching